application. With any application, it would save money to take away some suction that the walls may have, especially when they are new and have never been painted. For this, you could paint the area first with some primer before you put on your costly shielding paint. Inside, walls and ceilings must be shielded and, if on the first floor or above, the floor needs to be considered, as we mentioned earlier. To begin, I like to paint the corners and the edges first with a brush and then use the rough surface roller to do the bigger areas. Go for lunch and then apply the grounding tape. Brush the corners um, and along the skirting boards again before you roll around the second coat. Outside, much the same applies. Of course, you need a dry day and the ability to do it safely. The use of a professional painting company would make it much easier here. The grounding needs to be well planned um, and it's probably best to contact your local geovital office for some input based on your individual circumstances. Preparing the paint itself. The paint needs to be stirred thoroughly before using it to make sure that the particles that may have settled on the bottom are again evenly distributed through the paint. You can shake the container upside down, but this is best done before the seal of the lid is broken, so it has no ability to spill. Another good way is to use a paint mixer attachment that you can connect to a cordless drill. You can get these from hardware stores. Uh, remember to start deep in the container and start slowly. You don't want to fling it around the room. Alternatively, you can stir it by hand, just with a stick, but you've got to make sure that you've got a very nice consistency in the paint and it should feel a little bit creamy. You should never dilute T98 with water or anything else to try and make it go further. You'll actually destroy its superior performance. It needs to go on the way it is in the container. Pour from the container into a tray for your roller or into a small container for your brushwork. Every time you need to top up your tray or your container, make sure to give the big container again a stir. Otherwise you'll let some of the ingredients sink to the bottom and what you'll be applying will be getting thinner and thinner. It is very important, whenever painting, to turn off the electrical circuits to all the electrical wiring that comes to the room and the surfaces that you'll be painting. How much to use? You can calculate roughly how much paint you should be using for a given surface. So, if you have done one coat and figure out you've used a lot less than anticipated, then you may need to put on a third coat because you have been spreading out your shielding too much. Remember not to try and stretch out the paint. You need it on the surface to do its job. The first coat also gives a good insight if you have enough left to complete the job. T98 is water-based, water permeable. It's touch dry in 30 minutes and you can overpaint it in two hours.